All right, here's the question for today. Can human beings change their behavior if given enough time? Again, this is just a wonderfully interesting question. And it regards uh, free will, and it also regards, I would say, how you view human actions. So this, this kind of ties in with the question of ethics. Can human beings change their behavior if they're given enough time? So I guess first off, it might help to say where I'm coming from on this. I would say it's a, it's a clear yes, um, but not so much from philosophy as it would be just from experience of psychology, of habit building, you know, and and I think a lot of the, the psychological data that we have behind, and, and sociological data behind human behavior does show that, that people can change their habits. You know, if, if you're an alcoholic, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, but you can change your habit of drinking. Uh, if you have a habit of doing drugs, if you're a drug addict, it's going to be difficult again, sometimes incredibly difficult, but it is possible for human beings to change their behavior, even when they're uh, physically bound to a substance of some sort. It's still possible for them to go through that detox time um, and build new habits, right? And so the flip side of, of that sort of an answer would be that no, human beings cannot change their behavior over time. And this would be an opinion that denies the existence of human free will. It would say that, that everything in the universe is, is determined in some way. And so there is no real change possible even in non-human or even non-sentient beings. So, you know, a rock, you know, breaks off a mountain, falls and creates a, like a, a rock slide or a mudslide, whatever you would call it. That's not caused by anything from this view. It's just, which is what happens. So there are kind of those two opposing viewpoints and, and they all kind of hinge upon what do you believe about the universe? Uh, do you believe that the universe is determined in some way just by the laws of nature to where nothing is ever going to where where you or anyone can never change what's going to happen in in life um there's a there's a like a natural atheistic perspective to that answer and there's also a theistic perspective to that answer where um, people would say it would be like a divine command theory that that doesn't really just stop at morality. It would it would be applied across the board to every bit of of life. So, yeah, the so people in in those in that view would say that everything is determined because you know God has created the world and God's will determines all things like actively. And so there's, there's absolutely no way for human beings to participate with their free will in, uh, in any sort of change, right? And yeah, so it, it's interesting. There's, a, there's a, a non-theistic perspective on this question, and there's also a theistic perspective on this question. Um, it, it doesn't matter what you believe about God if, if you're talk, when you're talking about uh, free will. Right, atheists will take the stance that free will exists. Theists will take the stance that free will doesn't exist, and vice versa. It doesn't matter. I think it really depends a lot on on one's experiences in life. Like, do you feel if you're like you're trapped in in certain experiences to where you can't move past them? Well you might then find yourself in a more deterministic point of view where change is impossible. And you might say change is not only impossible to human beings to, to their, because free will doesn't exist, but change is, not, is impossible for anything. Everything is really just as it is. Change is maybe just a figment of our imagination. 
right? Whereas if you take the view that free will does exist and, and maybe you take a maximal view of this to where even non-sentient beings like the, you know, the rock slide going on is, is somehow, somehow a free action. Now that'd be an interesting, that would be an interesting uh, point of view to say that even, you know, non-living realities have, have some sort of participate in some sort of freedom in some sort of like true change right and not not just a deterministic type of change where it's it's just an appearance right so yeah I, I guess that's maybe a brief overview of the different options one could take in this question and and I'm sure I'm missing some but but yeah th this this question it it really gets to the the heart of um, and, and again, a lot of these questions we're going to be answering get to the heart of a lot of things within human life. But this question in particular uh, really gets to the question of, of free will, of change. And, and I just, I think that's fascinating. All right. Thanks.